It's been lighting up London for more than a hundred years, but this morning, Piccadilly Circus went dark. The billboard lights have been switched off for renovations until the autumn. Now, they have been turned off briefly in the past during Winston Churchill and Princess Diana's funerals, but this will be the longest period of time since World War II. The first electrical advertisements appeared in 1908. Midnight on Tuesday, August the 14th, 1945. Before the Prime Minister had finished his radio announcement that Japan had surrendered, London went wild. After the war, Piccadilly Circus was a popular place for Londoners to gather and celebrate. Soon after, it also became a tourist attraction, and the lights have moved with the times, starting with incandescent light bulbs, moving on to neon, digital projectors, and now LEDs. Well, this might not look like much, but we're actually in the control room behind the lights. Now, at the moment, the screens are made of thousands of these panels, and when the work begins, all of this will be replaced by one big screen, which will have more than 11 million LED lights. It will be different uh, because it will be one screen, it will be used flexibly, it will be interactive um, and it will be obviously a very, very high quality image. And also the way that the advertisers are using the screen will be very different because currently it's very fixed. So it will be the, the advertisers will have a, the ability to be very creative in how they use the screens. When the work's completed, Piccadilly Circus will be home to Europe's largest single digital screen. For now, a temporary advertising banner will replace the lights and until October, the most luminous corner of the capital will be a lot less bright. Amelia Papadopoulos, BBC London News.